Buongiorno. The sun is shining. We are alive. We're doing great. And I got something so exciting to show you. We are going to be utilizing the crock pot and also the oven later. But the prima cosa, the first thing that I always tell you guys is to bring on the fadale. And today, it's all about the butterflies. This beautiful fadale. Butterflies to all of you. Buongiorno. Good morning. It is 9.53 and I already started. Because what I want to do when I use a cracker pot, I don't like skin. So what I did is I kind of uh, browned a little bit of the chicken so the, the, the skin is crispy. And I know we're going to cook it in a beautiful hole. Oh, wait, I spent what I got for you. Oh, mamma mia. It's this deliciousness that's going to be cooking with the chicken. And I, it's just my husband and I, and I was able to get a chiquitito pot. Chiquitito means small, a piccolo, piccolo. Uh, it's just him and I, and Reggie, of course. So uh, if there's only two people, you can actually find these little guys. And where I went is I went to where they sell travel trailers. Mm -hmm. You know, they have all kinds of little things that will fit travel trailers. And this one is a crumb form, whatever that is. And right now, I turned it on, there's nothing in there, and I have it in low. Because I have some chicken, like I said, that I crisp up here. And I'm just going to take them out. And then what I do, because I have a, a small uh, crack pot, and I'm going to tell you something, eh? My mama, in all of her years of life, had never used a crack pot. She had one, but never used it. She did not know how, and I had to learn how. My daughter really is the one that got me started with a crack of pot. So what I have here is I, t I tell my butcher to take the, the ends off so I can fit them into my crack pot, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and put these guys with the skin and, uh, and no oil, oil or nothing in there. And I'm just going to put it in my crock pot. Can you guys see the crock pot? Here, let me bring it over here. The crock pot. So what I'm doing is, I am just going to put the little chickens, because these chickens are going to cook all by themselves with this deliciousness sauce that I am going to show you. So that's going to be cooked nice and slow throughout the day. So I really, uh, I can take care of, you know, the things that I need to take care of. As you know, I'm an ordained minister, so I minister to people, and, and I marry couples, and yes, I do marry lots of babies, I mean couples, and then they have babies, and then I baptize their babies, and I love it. Okay, so let me put that away, because I want to bring you to the sauce. Uh, what I am going to serve with this is the vegetables. These vegetables, I'm not going to put in the crock pot. These vegetables are going to go in the oven for 425 for about 20 minutes until my Brussels sprouts are nice and, and you know, sometimes they have a little bit of the burn that they're so delicious and I'll show you how to take care of these and then the sweet potato. But for now, it's all about what's going to go into that beautiful pot. And I am going to show you, it's going to be like a chili, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be using chili paste with garlic. If you don't have chili paste with garlic, don't worry about it. Get yourself a red chili. They're hot, yes. Make sure you take the, the seeds off and then that will work well. But I am going to be using this since I have it. And I am going to have, I have it right here, my nice beautiful little thing here. And I'm just going to use a teaspoon because you know, it is a little spicy. But you know, I do have those little legs, so I'm just going to use two little teaspoons. Because I can always add or subtract, take away, you know what I mean. Okay, now to this, oh, ah, what happened to my, oh, you know me, sometimes I forget. <laughs> okay, the grater, because what I'm going to do is I want to grate a lemon. This is going to be cooking slow with this sauce. And you know, and I know that sometimes if you want to be lazy, and I don't give myself a lot of permission to be lazy. Oh yeah, I do sometimes. <laughs> and we gotta be lazy sometimes. Uh, 
what I will do is, uh, I've never done it, uh, but people tell me that they will take, you know, uh, barbecue sauce. But this is not barbecue sauce. This is your own thing. And, it, you know, this is nice for, to have people over. You know, I always talk about having people over, yes, in the old days. You know, but you can still get together with those very healthy people, you know, like healthy neighbors. My neighbors and I are going to get together soon, you know. They, you know, they, they subscribe to my YouTube channel and they love my cooking, so I told them that they will have something from there. So I have a lemon, and I'm also going to zest a lime. Because, you know, we want to pack this with a lot of flavor. And, you know, and, and the thing is, is a lot of people, they don't know how to use, you know, the chili paste. And I like the chili paste with garlic. Because I love a garlic, and garlic loves a me. And it's very high on, anti, uh, on uh, antibiotic, not antibiotics. Uh, oh, my goodness. Well, I, I, you, you know what I mean, okay? It's too early in the morning. I'm, I'm having my smoothie. Oh, what's in this smoothie? Here, look at this. What we have here is we have blueberries. We have lots of kale. Remember, I keep talking about kale. High in zinc. And zinc is what is needed right now to combat this thing called Corona. I have a lot of blackberries, blueberries. Uh, I have, uh, and I also have um, walnut, which walnut is good for the brain. And I need all my brain. <laughs> so I can think. Okay, so don't worry about it. If it gets on, the, on here, it's no big deal, okay? So then in the meantime, I have this on high. All right, so nothing to worry about. Don't, don't, don't worry, don't stress. Okay, so now with this, I, am, I got uh, four cloves of garlic. Let me remove this out of the way. And uh, don't worry about the lemon and the lime because you know, he's, they're probably gonna be using because this is gonna be like a chili, a, a chili lime uh, with uh, lots of mint and, and parsley. And uh, my parsley right now, you know, guys, if you guys have parsley, you have to water your parsley almost every single day because, you know, these little plants are, you know, they, they, they need to have the water in order to survive at the heat. If not, move it to where it's half shady and half sunny. And you should not have any problems with your basil and your or, um, oregano, which I do grow that too, and, uh, and your uh, parsley. You know, parsley, you know, gets to be finicky sometimes. So I am using four cloves of garlic. You can use definitely more. I have more here, but right now, I, you know, this thing, I'm telling you, that skins, you know, I love organic garlic. So I don't worry about on how this is going to be really, the garlic, uh, but I do kind of want to, you know, chop it up, chop it up, okay? Chop it, chop it, chop it. So while I'm going to be chopping this, let me go ahead because I'm already chopping that and I'm gonna get my mint. I have mint and I also have spinach I grow. And when you're looking now, make sure you take out all the, you know, the not, the not so nice looking ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put my parsley because I'm gonna chop this thing over here. You know, and I came up with this recipe, guys. Um, one day I just did not feel like, uh, you know, spending a lot of time in the house and we were going to go somewhere and I had some chicken legs and I had this little guy and I'm like, oh, look what I'm going to do. And this is how this, this was created. A lot of this stuff is created. You know, it's like I go to sleep at night and before I wake up, I already know what I'm going to do. And sometimes I already know what I'm going to do the night before, but then something else comes up and say, hey, why don't you add this? And that's how my, you know, that's how it works for me. So I'm going to be using my parsley with my stems. Uh, how much of all of this? And it's pretty wet. I'm not really worried about, you know, drying it and going through all of that. And, you know, and I'm just going to throw a little Italian into this too. I'm going to throw a few little basil leaves. Why not? More flavor. It's not an Italian. You know, it's, uh, I'm going to call this like, uh, I don't have a name for this yet. <laughs> I'm, my husband tells me, honey, I've never had the same thing 
since I've known you, and I've been cooking for him for close to 26 years. So every, you know, it, it's different. Sometimes it may taste the same, you know, there's always something different. So what you want to do is you want to chop it up because, you know, we want to make a sauce and we're going to pour it over all of that. And I'm not worried about, you know, my uh, legs. You know, they're all hanging out there in their steam bath. <laughs> Getting more and more skinny because, you know, they shrink. <laughs> gotta have fun. We gotta laugh every day. We gotta laugh. Uh, release the endorphins. Endorphins? 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 Or well, something like that. The happy, the happy things, you know, those happy things. So, you know, we're, we're looking for quite a bit here. So, you know, how much, it all depends on how much, you know, you want. Uh, as far as some people, they don't like mint, but this is going to give this dish such an incredible flavor with the chicken, you know, you're know, cooking slowly all day long with all this deliciousness. Oh my God. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a perfect chop, okay? So now, if I were to measure this, ah, oh, mamma mia, you guys. Okay, if I were to measure with all of it, you know, with the four cups, okay? A very good heaping half a cup. And a little more. <laughs> we gotta have a little more. There we go. I just have it in this little bowl here, okay? So no stress, and nobody worry about it, nothing. I don't want anybody stressing, too much stress already. Okay, no, no, not too much stress. I refuse to be stressed. Okay, so now to this, I am going to add a little bit of sweetness because you know we have a little bit of heat and I'm just going to take a regular tablespoon, you know, that you open, you don't have to measure. Just take a good tablespoon, okay, like that. A tablespoon is not going to hurt anything. And that's the honey. Oh yes, baby. Okay, so now, put that there, move this over here. Let me grab a squishy squishy, because we're not done yet. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have, I am going to use my jalapenos. Oh man, my jalapeno is rocking so that on top of all of this spice, I am going to add another jalapeno. You know guys, you think that it's going to be super spicy, but it's not. You know, we have the legs, the legs will absorb all of this. You know, we like the spice. It is very nice to be a little spicy, eh? <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and just make sure that you remove with, you know, with any pepper, we gotta remove the flesh, you know, the, the thing inside, the little white stuff inside. And you know, with these guys, I'm just going to just chop it, like so. Very simple, very simple transaction. Okay, let's move. So that goes for that. I'm also going to add a little red pepper, and I like color, and that's why I like to add a little bit of the red pepper. You know, you can also add, uh, uh, you know, uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, you could add, you know, you, there's, there's red chilies also that you can add to this, you know, if you like it very, very hot. My son-in-law loves heat. You know, but I will never use a ghost pepper here. Because if it's a ghost pepper, I won't be able to find it. <laughs> I won't be able to see it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Maybe I will. You know? Okay, so now, as you can see, we have this deliciousness right here. Okay? And now, I'm going to get my, my lemon and my lime cut up. Oh, I have my knife right here. <laughs> Oh, mamma mia, I'm so funny. <laughs> well, I don't know, sometimes. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a half a lemon. Oh, this way. I was gonna do it upside down. Oh, that would not have been a good idea. I've done that before. Oh, boy, I 
I should have rolled this lemon. Boy, you are hard as a lemon. Okay, I'm gonna save the lemon because I was gonna go for water. I love, you know, different waters, I tell you. And one of these days I'm gonna do a show on all the different waters that you guys can do, especially now that it's hot. Oh, boy. I just take a big jug of water and I just put them in there, you know? And then sometimes I add different other things. Okay, so now a half a lime, a half a lemon, and then now I'm gonna use the olive oil. Because we need to. You didn't think I was gonna make this without olive oil, did you? <laughs> oh, I need a fork. All right, how much olive oil? You know, maybe a quarter cup. Oh, yes. Oh, mamma mia. All right, I'm gonna grab some salt. Okay, nice pinch of salt. And guys, you know, don't worry, you know, because everything is gonna marry together. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of more olive oil. Not too much. You see that? See what you guys made? Okay, so now you're gonna take your crackapata. Let me move this out of the way. Come on, everybody, get out of my way. Okay, just get out of my way. I am busy, go, go, go. go. Let me move everything out of the way. Because I wanna show you, because I wanna make sure that you guys understand though. Okay, you bring in your crackpot like so. See, so easy, so chiquitito, so small. Okay, I just open the lid. And I'm just gonna add all of that on the top. <laughs> oh yeah. You know, and when it's served, you can serve it with that sauce. Oh. And make sure that you get everybody in there. Oh yeah, and I have it on high. We're going to have an early dinner tonight, so I probably will, sh I'm gonna check it. If it's going blue, 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 blue too much, then I'll turn it to low. This one only has two things, high and low and off. And that's fine for me. Okay, so now, you see guys? Okay, so now this guy, I'm gonna cover this guy up. And he's all done. Look at that. In less than 15 minutes, we got this going on. All right, so let's move on because we got a lot of things going on here because I gotta show you what we're gonna do with the rest of the stuff. Because, you know, I like to marry everybody. I don't know where this came out of, but it's okay, we'll put it over here. All right, so now, let me bring the rest. And you know, I'm just gonna get a regular sheet pan because this is gonna go in the oven at 425 for about 20, 25 minutes because you know, we definitely want to get everything cooked. All right, so now, you know, I'm just gonna wipe my board. No chicken has touched this board, so I'm not worrying and concerned about this. So the first thing I wanna do is I want to slice my Americano, Americano, Americano. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> slice my Brussels sprouts. I call them little cabbages. And these have been cleaned. And I have, I have to use them, you know. Sometimes what happens is people forget about them. They like to go in the most coldest part of your refrigerator. And they don't, you know, and you gotta keep it. Uh, don't put it in a plastic jug, they, you know. Uh, they don't like plastic jugs, you know. They, you can put it in a plastic bag but with, with a paper towel. Okay, so I am going to put this in, you know, you, a lot of people use their uh, food processors to do this, but I don't know how to use that part. I've been chopping, chopping all of my life, so you know, I know I'm making my life a lot easier. Uh, and maybe once I get my grandson to come and spend a couple of days with me, he can be over here helping me. And I know he watches my videos. And he has uh, become a subscriber. So as you can see, you know, I'm not really concerned about too much about these guys. But we're going to marry everybody. Everybody's going to be so happy together. So happy together. Weather, weather. You guys remember that? La, 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 true. Oh, oh, my life. You know, my 
family, was the family when the, the whole entire family will get together, we would all break out in songs. Especially my aunt and my uncle, depending on how much wine they had. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, it's amazing what alcohol can do to personalities, you know. I know I'm chopping it fine because, you know, we want this to be nice and crispy. I like nice and crispy. If you don't want it nice and crispy, then don't chop it so fine, okay? Don't stress yourself out. Cooking should be fun. Okay, I'm going to put these guys right back in here. Because, you know, they have to go in there. Because, you know, we still have things to do. All right, so now I'm going to grab my sweet potato. Sweet potato does not spike, you know, uh, the sugar. Uh, it's very good for those that have diabetes. And there's a lot of wonderful things. And I'm using a beautiful organic. Uh, most of everything that I use, it is organic. I'm telling you. Sometimes organic is less expensive. Anything with soft skin should be bought organic, you know? And it'll save you money that way. You don't have to buy every single thing organic. It is recommended, but you know, I mean, some people, you know, some people cannot afford it. And I understand, trust me, you know, uh, I could not afford it. And the thing is, is, you know, my father would, you know, would uh, had a beautiful garden. And no matter what my father would, you're gonna cut it in half like this. <laughs> it went on the floor. Wait a minute. <laughs> Today is the crazy show. I have to watch this guy, eh? Because he got this guy went on the floor. Oh my god. Did you see that, Reggie? I know you can investigate it. Thank goodness that my clothes are so clean. But, you never know. Did it have the 60, I don't know if it was 60 minutes or 60 whatever. But don't worry about it, wash it and use it anyways. There's nobody who to see it. <laughs> Except for me and you. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice these guys thin, you know, because you know, everything else is being cut up thin and what we wanna do is we wanna utilize the, the oven as little as possible. <laughs> I can't believe. Well, you know, it was, it was hard to cut that. You know, I have middle hands. It's the only thing left small that I have, <laughs> except for my fingers. <laughs> you know, oh my goodness, we're having fun in this kitchen. Man, if you guys are not rolling up laughing with me, I don't know what will do that. No, I am not going to do stand up comedian. Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring my pan right here. Oh, I'm gonna bring, I am gonna put, where's my olive oil? I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil right over here. Well, everybody's gonna get olive oil. I gotta milk the cow here. I gotta milk the olive oil. All right, so now, I am going to put my sweet potatoes there, like so. You know, the sweet potatoes, they don't really need a lot. Just a little bit of olive oil. You know, they have their own personalities and they have their own sweetness. You know, and if the chicken is a little spice, the, the potatoes are going to give you such wonderful sweetness to go with it. So I, I really don't want to do too much to my sweet potatoes, especially when I'm having the chicken. Okay, nice and beautiful, just like so. See, very simple transaction, very, very easy. Get, get your hands a little bit washed over here. And now, you know, we are going to just put a little bit of salt. Now, in the meantime, on the other guys, let me move my things. In, in, in the other hand now, what I want to do with these guys is I do want to dress these guys up. They're naked. We got to dress them up, you know? We cannot be walking around naked. And these guys cannot walk around naked. And what I want to do to these is to make it even more fun, I'm just going to add one heaping teaspoon of the garlic chili. Yes, garlic chili. I know. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of the honey. All right, let me get some olive oil. I did not fill my, my uh, little things today, but that's okay. I just drained every single one of them. I have more, trust me, we have more olive oil. 
maybe a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, get your hands in there. And it's such a pretty dish because it shows the green and it shows the red and it's got spice. Na 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 na, it's a man about it, about it. Now, turn to marry somebody. La 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 la. All right, I'm just gonna taste. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. It's got a nice little flavor. Everything has got its own personality. Okay, now, let me rinse my hands real quick. Okay, so now, I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna do it like so. Take this out. See what we're doing here, guys? So that's why when you put it at 425, look at that. Very beautiful colors, right? Very beautiful colors. So remember, 425, you know, you can move your potatoes over. It's okay if they touch, they like each other. And you're gonna have a chili, chili garlic Brussels sprouts with just you know sweet potatoes and your wonderful. Look at this and your wonderful. Oh wow! You guys should be smelling this. You're gonna want to smell your house and the wonderful chicken. I'm not quite yet yeah, giving it a name yet, but I will. So, I want to thank you so much for joining me today, my beautiful Cucina. I bring you lots of love. I bring you lots of healthy dishes. This is an amazing dish. It's a very different dish. But it, it, will, it, it will transform you uh, because it's a different flavor. And, 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 and in being in so many different countries, I think that this was inspired by all the different countries that I've been into one country. So here you go, guys. Grazie mille. You have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. Be kind and loving. And wear a mask. Oh, mamma mia with a mask. Okay, guys. Ciao, ciao. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you. I love every single one of you. Mwah, mwah. Ciao, ciao, belly. Ciao, ciao.